many great places to eat and drink in Toronto, but what about outside the city? An hour's drive west of Toronto, you can find Hamilton. One of the favorite streets of this city is James Street. I'm doing a group food and drink crawl to a few spots. The first up on the list is Born and Raised. Elevated pub fare with amazing food variety, beer, and cocktails to go with it. I was born and raised to be a chef. Um, my father's father was a chef, and my mother's father was um, a farmer, an organic farmer, just north of Burlington. Like basically everybody on our team loves what we do, so it's kind of a, a unique environment, I guess. For me, anyway, for my career experience, I'm like, very lucky and blessed to be uh, surrounded by such kind of like-minded people. My recommendation would have to be the Neapolitan pizza. So delightfully fresh, with a great mouthfeel, the sourdough used adds so much more to the chew and made me want to keep eating. This dough is a little bit unique in that we use a sourdough starter. It's aged for a minimum of 48 hours. We do what's called a cold ferment, so it just ages in the fridge. And we use very little starter, but there's the right amount that it creates a light, airy crust. We cook it in a wood fire oven at about 700 degrees, so it's not your traditional Neapolitan style pizza in that Neapolitan usually cooks at 900, 950, and we don't do that intentionally because we like it to be a little more crispy. Shaolin Underground a restaurant and nightclub that features Southeast Asian snack food and cocktails. I recommend the crispy Brussels sprouts with their chef's secret sauce. Next up is Marina. They specialize in amazing Latin-inspired cuisine, from their tortillas to their baos. Start with this corn, corn that we've sourced from Oaxaca, uh, which is the culinary capital of Mexico. We cook it overnight with calcium hydroxide or cow or nixed to milk, which uh, modifies the starches in the corn, makes it uh, more nutritious, makes it easier to digest, and also makes it much easier to grind. This makes me happy. Then it gets rinsed off to get the alkali off the corn, and it goes through this grinder twice. Depending on how much it's absorbed, how much water absorbed in the cooking, it gets mixed uh, downstairs in the mixer um, to make up the difference in the water. Enjoyed the video remember to like leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already we make videos every week and you won't want to miss it until next time